Welcome, everybody, viewers at home around the world, to the Improv Theatre Sydney Chat Laurent. My name is Josh McGee. I am your host this very evening. Uh, before we begin, we always like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that Improv Theatre Sydney is based, which is the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay our respects to elders past and present. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. And boy, I wish I was on the land, but um, here I am doing a bit of self-isolating. Um, that's how it goes. Uh, I'm here to introduce all of you and welcome you to a fantastic online improv show put on by Improv Theatre Sydney. You can probably hear me much better now. Uh, we're going to be doing some live, never before seen, never before scripted or rehearsed improv for you on your screens this evening. And we would love your suggestions. Uh, if you're watching, jump in that chat. We need suggestions of a relationship to get started. So we've got some great ones in there already. Uh, so keep them coming. But before we begin, I would like to welcome my illustrious cast for the first half of this evening. Uh, and then in the second half of the show, we're going to be hearing from our house team, 1% of germs. So make sure you stick around for that. But for our Laurent this evening, I would like to welcome to the stream, my friends, Anna Renzenbrick, Juliet Ray Timmerman, Steve Lynch. There he was. He flashed up for a second. And special guests, Jim Fishwick from New Zealand and Amy Mule from Melbourne. And, and we also, sorry, we have special guest Steve Lynch as well from Newcastle. Uh, it's not Sydney, so it's special to us. Um, thank you all for being here uh, and make sure you're uh, off mute. Um, we would love to uh, uh, find out how everyone's doing this fine evening. Um, there's been a bit of rain here in Sydney. I was, it seemed to have settled down before, but my house was about to blow off before. Um, is there... <laughs> everyone's house in one piece at the moment your cave sorry my um my yeah the the belly of this whale i'm in was uh, oh it's a whale oh my gosh is that is that not clear i was that's what i was going for anyway so drafty yeah. inside a whale yeah it's yeah look it's not ideal but i'm making it work um <laughs> I could not even commit to this premise. My, Go ahead, Steve. My house itself is fine. But um, look, I don't know if this made the news over there in the big city of Sydney, but um, about uh, 500 metres from where I live uh, off the beach, a car last night crashed over a cliff, uh, fell all the way down into the beach, into the water, um, uh, basically clipped a mother and her child and the driver and both of the people on the beach that were just hit by this flying car are all like alive. Um, so, that's <laughs> so that's my news from, uh, from, from country town, Australia. Someone trying to be a bit of a Harry Potter Ron flying car. <laughs> either that, either that or just going old school and doing Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> Me. We can only hope. Um, well, that's good. Everyone's all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, everyone else doing okay? Mm. I'm babysitting a very small cat at the moment, which is very nice. He was going a bit crazy, but he's now just having a little, I don't know if you can see him, a little sit. Oh, cute. Brownie's very sweet. What's his name, Juliet? His name is Wesley. Yeah, it's my sisters. And uh, Jim, I, I don't know if you're comfortable revealing this, but I'm going to reveal it for you. You're in a theatre right now. Uh, yes, yes, I am. I'm in the office upstairs above a theatre. There is a, a show going on downstairs, so I will try and not uh, tantalise you all with that too much. Uh, and I will try and just block out all the sounds of the sounds. Hey, look, I've got a swivel chair. Now that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All my scenes are going to be done like this. 
<laughs> um, great. Well, if we get a suggestion of uh, uh, an astronaut in training, I uh, know you're the man for the job, Jim. But let's see what suggestions we do have here uh, to get us started. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of favorites here. Um, we have a stepmother and ex-wife. We have a an electrician and their boss. We have a cannibal and their lunch. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you the, so those are your three options, uh, improvisers to choose from. Let them sit with you, see what inspires, uh, and uh, everyone at home, please join me in welcoming the It's Chat Laurent. Hi, Marsha. Hi, hi, Tiff. How are you? Oh, um, I'm good. Yeah. Great. Well, I, I just wanted to sort out Christmas holes. Well, I was thinking, um, I was thinking this year, just because we've got the pool, that um, maybe everyone comes to us for Christmas Day and then we keep the kids. Sounds great. Good, good. How long will you have the kids? Oh, the whole time. The whole, the whole, the whole holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, my, what about my birthday? Oh. Oh, well, we, we've actually planned, um, we we're going to go to Noosa. Noosa? On, um, yeah. Yeah, in, so in January, Noosa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that that sounds marvellous. So I've got plans actually. I I just remembered I forgot to tell you about my plans. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm, not... um, I'm 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 taking Mum on a cruise. Oh, so it's nice. good that you'll have the kids for the yeah. whole holiday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I've got you. Um, well, we're taking the kids on for the holidays, but then we're we're going to take the kids to live with my family in France for um, six months. <laughs> You'd be welcome to visit. There's plenty of room at the chateau. You know, I don't speak French, Marsha. Oh. Oh, well. But I'm really pleased you've taught the girls French. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, you know, it's never, never a bad time to start learning something new. Marsh, you know, we agreed that we would be flexible and not let petty things ruin a family dynamic. That's yeah. already been through so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I as, the, as the mother here, the biological mother. Yes. I do think it would be best if perhaps they stayed in the country with me. And I'm supportive of you taking a trip to France. Oh, don't play. I oh, know. Marsha, Marsha. Yes? You don't have to rub it in that I'm barren. I if never... Doing. Don't bring that up again. I never said that, Marsha. Well, it's fine. You can have them for your bloody birthday then if that's so important to you. I just, I just thought they enjoyed being around me they do they do they love you they they absolutely adore you you've been the best possible stepmother girls could ever have none of that evil nastiness 
you know, we make those jokes about the evil stepmothers, but it's really unfair and not true. And, you know, you're a doll, but you're not their mother. Thanks. <laughs> yep. That's... That's nice. Maybe I'll get you um some language classes for your birthday or something, just in preparation, perhaps for the future. I would love that. May yeah. we? Yeah, Bonne yeah. chance mm. avec moi. Good. Well, um. Cal, uh, uh, until. Oh, it's. Yeah, I think I'll rush those through, shall I? Those classes. Look, um, Marcia, now that I've got you, I mm. wanted to tell you something. Oh, yes? I've changed my will. Oh. Um. And I've, mm. uh, I've, I've nominated you to be... A beneficiary. What? Yeah. In recognition of all that you've done for my family. And if anything happens to me between now and the age of 65. Oh, good. Well, I, maybe I could come around one day and um, put a sticky note on some of the things I had like. <laughs> doesn't mean you get everything. It just means you help administer the estate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. 65, okay. Yeah, well, I'm glad we've had this chat. I'm glad we've sorted it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we I'm, I'm glad we're on, on the same page. Yep. Thanks, Tiff. Thanks, Lucia. Um, I better get back to work. Oh. Good, good. Okay, you do that. 65, okay, good. Au revoir. Au revoir. See you soon. Ta-ta then. Yeah. Bye. Marsha, Marsha, love you. It's your mum. Marsha. Yes. Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me, love? Yes, ma'am, I can. Oh, good. Not sure how it works, you know. Uh, calling in from Perry. <laughs> this is every time, ma'am. Yep. Yep. Marshy, lovey. Marshy. Yes, honey. Uh, got some bad news, love. Oh, no, it's not the cat, is it? You haven't run over it again, have you? God, I wish it was just the cat, but yes, we have run him over with the tractor again. I don't think he's going to make it. We're trying to pull oh. him out at the moment, but... It's not sounding good. Um, bad news about the uh, the vineyard, though. Uh, well, we're we're a bit we're a bit fucked, love. Sorry, excuse the language, but we're a bit fucked. Um, no, I don't, Give it um, to me straight. We we uh well, we had a bit of a uh, tax. Uh, your dad's had a bit of a tax issue, you know. He doesn't let me in on these sorts of things, you know. My foddy old brain. Um. So uh, we're a bit, um, we're a bit, a uh, bit be belly up at the moment, and I don't think we can afford really to have you and the, the kids no. coming around. No, mum, no, no, that's no, that's. Marshy, lovey, that's... don't have one of your little tantrums. No, mum, that's bullshit. Oh, that is. Oh, that's, that's bloody bullshit. Um, I was counting no. on this time. I was gonna. I was going to bring the kids. I know, I know, but we don't have space. We're going to lose the vineyard. Oh, you, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? No, no, Marshy, not everything's, you know, a, a design to, to mess with you, all right? Some people live their own lives. We're living our own lives here. And frankly, we're, uh, we were living large until your bloody dad messed up his taxes and a bit of, you know... So we'll throw it here and there. God, where is he? 
he is, uh, he's got one hand on the cat's leg trying to wrench him out from under a tractor. So frankly, he's a little tied up right now. You, that's it. I'm, I'm, com I'm coming over. I'm going to coming over to Paris. I'm buying, a, I'm buying a ticket right now. Sure, sure. I mean, if you can, if you can help oh. us out, that'd actually be a real first. I can't get there till next April. They're not opening the borders. No, that's true. There's a bit of a uh, bit of a lockdown there. Yes. Yeah, oh, so, um, I'll get a jet. Oh, get a jet. Oh, you know, oh. I can't wire you the funds, honey. Where are? Uh, I'll pull the kids out of private school. I'm coming, Mum. I'm coming. I, I hope I, I hope I see you soon. You can't do this to me. Soon. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello. Hey, hello. Genevieve, the, the cat is stuck in the tractor and it's not it's not looking well. Oh Jesus, not oh God. I just he he likes he likes the spinning wheels. He gets sort of frantic and he, he goes for them. Yeah, I hope he likes sleeping because he's he's out and I'm I'm afraid like that I have to do you know I, I still feel to plow what you want me to do, like mm, I don't know. I oh God, I mean your, your husband here is he, he's out cold, he's gone unconscious and he's crying and He's Wait, in, he's unconscious and crying. Yeah, at the same time, I'm I'm amazed by it. To something unlike Mythbusters. Oh God. Um. Oh God, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Look. Um. What's the cat's name? The cat's name is uh, Sc Scotty. Scotty. Yeah. Oh, he's unresponsive. Oh, I mean, look. He's an old cat. He's what? He's already three, I think. I have, maybe we just maybe we just leave him be. Can you at least get him out from under the tractor? Is he sort of is he just limp or is he still stuck under there? Because maybe you can just reverse back off him. I mean, I've called it at this point. I I have to I have it in neutral and he's just spread out like a starfish. Oh, yeah. So, never like, been good with pets. Huh? I've never been good with pets. I've got a bad track record with pets. They always get out. They always find a some kind of big machinery to get squashed under. It's a bit of a shame, really. Jesus. Well, how are um, you, love? Are you having an all right day aside from this? Apart from the uh, fairly good, like, you know, it's, it's not bad, like, yeah. Yeah, how it's, are you uh, finding Paris? You're quite new, aren't you? Yeah, so I came over on the 478 visa. I have no bother with it. It's going grand. Wow. I love the uh, little croissants, the ham and cheese. Oh, yes, very good patisseries here, aren't they? Actually, they're grand, yeah, they're good. Mm, mm, mm. Well, look, I'm sorry if I had to be uh, caught up in all this business. I mean, you know, it can't be a fun afternoon sure. for you. No, it's not ideal, but like, what can we do, like? <laughs> what huh? can you do, but put it in, put it in neutral, you know? Stay That's right, it's in neutral. It was, stalling and, it was stalling a bit, but it's in neutral now, and sure, we'll have a good wake for him anyway, do you know? Yes, we will have a good wake. I mean, we always do, so, you know, um, that's right. something. Yeah, come here, I'm getting another call. Um, all right. Well, I'll hop off. In fact, I'd better start planning that wake, all right? Thank you for all your help. I'll call you back another time. All right, thank you, lovey. Bye. Bye, Jenny. Eva, Genevieve, Jenny, Jenny for short. Uh, Mr. O'Malley. Kevin, what's the crack? Uh, I'm afraid there's some problems with your visa. Uh, it's come to the government's attention that you have been running a, um, shall we say, a, a, a highly illicit uh, ring involving the peddling of dead bodies of cats. Come here, you're breaking up a small loot there. I just heard um, it's about your visa and cats. Cat. Cats, dead cats, Mr. O'Malley. 
Okay. You cannot kill French cats and sell them to the highest bidder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to put it so bluntly, but you have 28 days to leave our country. Now, hang on a minute. That that kid came into the field and came into my tractor by himself on his own four paws. I was I was doing my job. Mr. O'Malley, I'm sending to you the drone footage we have right now that shows I'm sending it over, sir. that I'm shows you wrenching the steering wheel and doing a 45 degree turn so as to run over the cat. And why do you think we had a drone hovering directly over where you are running your tractor, Mr. O'Malley? It's because this has happened too often. Cat's blood is on your hands. And do you think we in the French government don't notice when someone suddenly sells cats to the highest bidder? We notice. What? Sure. We notice look. that, Mr. O'Malley. Granted, look, I'm a dog man, but I wouldn't do anything to hurt cats. Do you know? He, he was on the job and things happen on the job. Look, do you know the problem yeah. is? The, the, problem, the problem that we in the French government feel is not that you are doing this. It's that you lied to us, Mr. O'Malley. We could have put you into a place that actually required the skills of someone with a bloodthirsty need to kill wildlife. I mean, there's plenty, plenty of stuff. Do you think the Parisian cats disappeared in 1994 all by themselves? No, we've got a crack team of cat killers, but instead, you lied, you got posted to, to, to the, the, the vineyards. We don't need your kind there. And I'm afraid, Mr. O'Malley, you're going back to Ireland. I don't know what the numbers are like there, but we are putting you on the first flight back. And if they won't let you in or you need to quarantine or anything like that, that is on you, sir. I, look, I have no problem going home, but um, I have a French woman here and she wants to come with me. What's the go with that? Well, it's uh, it's it's highly regular. Um, what's what on what basis would you say that you could that she she would uh, she needs to leave the country? Is there some uh, is there is is there some special consideration dispensation we could give? Yeah, it is called true love. Mm. See, we French we invented true love, and it uh, it usually lasts one one summer. Mr. O'Malley, I'm afraid. Um, no, it is, it is gone on. I know that was in America, but we've, we've imported the views over here in France. Uh, um, where did you meet this girl? Is she, uh, is it, because if it was online, frankly, you're kidding yourself. She's staying right here. Kevin, you're the second person today to say that to me. All right. She's, she's real and she's, uh, she wants to return home with me. So, and, and uh, ask me this, uh, Kevin, riddle me this, Kevin. Uh, sorry, I'm Kevin. I got it. Kevin. Riddle me You're this. You're on the job again, aren't you? Is it possible that she has asked you to just wire her just enough money to, uh, to, to pay for her fees to get to Ireland with you? Is that, is that possibly happened, Mr. O'Malley? Have you, never, have you never been short a few hundred, like you were all yourself? And has it happened like on three or four occasions and the numbers have added up just every so often? Yeah, but sure, her mam died. Mr. O'Malley, you're being scammed, sir. You are, you are killing our wildlife, but sir, it is your heart that is the true endangered species. Um, come on now, Kevin, you're getting fucking jealous again. Mate. Is this because we haven't been playing online poker together and you've gone... I'm, I'm not, as you say, fucking jealous of a lady who is probably a Nigerian dude named Gustav. I've, I've, got, I've got to give you some, some, bad, um, some facts, Mr. O'Malley. I, I think this is something you, I think you need to go away and have a very, a very difficult conversation, but we'll see you at the airport. I see you there with Gustav, whatever you call him, her, fuck. Au revoir. Uh, um, it's just me, just calling to say hi. Hey. How are you going, Kevin? Well, look, it's been a hard day at work. I've had to, you know, had to do my share of bumping out the trash. Yeah. How about you? 
Yeah, it was a hard day at work for me. You're wearing your shirt that I got you. I know. I know. And I didn't even think about it. I just, yeah, it's just have known. No, work was, work was good. I thought about lots of um, different things like uh, hope. And do you ever think about how like we're not in the universe, but we are the universe? Like you're part of the universe looking at itself. That was something I thought about today. Oh, uh, look, see, my heart knows policy. My heart knows regulations, but you're just introducing me to a new world, Mooney. Can well, I please? Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, look, I just want you to know that the, the six days that we've spent together uh -huh. Where I opened my eyes to the possibilities. Yeah. I mean, uh, until you, I never even thought of the idea of is love a physical thing? Like, can you go and pick it up? Because maybe you can somewhere if you just look hard enough and that we just need to look and look and look and one day, oh, wow, there's love. And that's it. That means we're in love. I never thought of that. It is. I mean, love is a physical thing in that it's made by the physical chemicals that actually interact with your brain, but it's also a place, it's a person, it's an, a, it's an idea, it is an idea and an emotion, but it's, a, it's an object that you can buy and then give to someone else, you and know? I do, I do, because, um, well, I, I, I've, got, I've got news for you. You're finally quitting the job? You're coming to live with me? I found love. It's ours. Wow. Wow. Would you it, like to would you like to name him? I I would. I'm gonna name I think it's only fair that we take something from me and something from you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, from me, I'm gonna take a rainbow, rainbow sparkle. And from you, I'm taking immigration policy. So <sighs> rainbow sparkle immigration policy. Can we call his middle name regulation 4.7? Cause that's, that's the About, one. That we, yeah. Oh. In regulation 4.7 allows uh, allows allows a certain well i don't have to explain no, to you, you don't. no you don't you don't need to say a word this has been just so special mooney you're so um, spontaneous you're so my my move, last name move is here. move to the middle of the forest with me my na i thought you were going to come to the city with me no i just I just need you to, I can't live in the city. It's too, ugh, there's too many angles, you know? Of course there's angles, but you said that the only, the only place where there's no angles in life is, is our hearts. And that when our hearts join as, as one, oh, you're not coming. You're, you're leaving me to raise our child alone. I thought you were spontaneous, Kevin. Mooney! I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to think. You need to feel. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, Tiff Hello. from uh, cottagecore.com. Uh, just yeah. needing to check in with you about your recent order. Yes, yes, Is yes. Now yes. a good time? No, of course, please. Um, please. Thanks. Uh, um, can I call you Moon Dream? Uh, Moon Dream, yeah. I, I have to say, your your custom has been an absolute pleasure. I just feel so uh, inspired by some of your orders. Uh, I've got a few questions though. No, no, I'm I'm an open book. <laughs> well, um, it's about the um, the logs. The yeah, the the, the, the collection the, of the twenty eight. 2,800 yeah. antique logs. I've yeah. I've had some success in sourcing um, them. I That's just wanted great. to 
to check with you, um, I've got half with bark still on. Is that okay? Yeah, Did no, you, uh, you... The, the bark is preferable, yeah. Oh, as long okay. As, as long as the <laughs> other half have bark as well, then that's... And and um, I know you said no um, uh, birch. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. No birch. So um, I was wondering whether you'd be okay with pine. Sorry, no, I just, no, sorry, no. you just spat in my face. You think I want a, a pie? This is cottage core. This isn't forest, forest jacks. Yeah, look, I'll, come, okay. on. Okay. come on, I'll, no, I'll keep working on that. I'll, I'll put some feelers out to some lumberjacks and see what we come up with. Um, don't, don't even bring up lumberjacks. I don't want this to be associated with the, with the destruction of forests i want i want it cozy i want can you see a dream? cozy 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 yeah, that's why that's why they need the bark on now that's i've i've been able to reach out to the country women's association and i've been able to secure uh 10 hand knotted rugs for okay. you is that okay they they're going to be association like a local coven is it a witchcraft a, thing? A, a, a kindly coven of nanas oh and uh, they're, oh, they're willing to crochet you um, the rugs. Um, so we'll have them on back order for you if that's okay. Oh, that's fantastic. All, all in the pastels, in the pastels. All pastels. Um, now, I've, I'm not sure about you, but I have, it's not doesn't seem to be firefly season and I haven't been able to source fireflies to put in moonshine jars. What do okay. you think about a tea light candle? Um, no, uh, I, I, I can... If you can just send me the jars, I can, I can probably go out, go outside and find the fireflies myself once they're in season. Um, how did you even get into working in a cottage core industry? Doesn't that go against the whole ethics of the thing? An industry for cottage core? Yeah. Well, I was in Shabby Chic for many years, and we just had to rebrand and uh, stop uh, sanding back all the furniture and just letting it age naturally. It seemed yeah, like a good fit. It's like yeah. you don't clean a cast iron pot. You want the flavour to absorb. You want the vibes to absorb into the furniture. Exactly. You should oil your skillet, as they say. Yeah, just rub a little bit of uh, thyme and uh, throw some salt in the circle around it. Um, yeah, I must admit, Moon Dream, if I... Can be honest with you, I, uh -huh. I'm, I don't live in the country. I'm just really good at sourcing. So this, then, then how did, you, where do you live? In an ap apartment building. In Parliament building. In a, in an apartment building. Oh. No balcony. Are there lots of angles? It's very modular. Come to the forest. Come to the, there's a clearing. I'll, I'll send you the Google Maps. You can, you can come live in a cottage. You can, you can experience the real thing. I could, I could deliver your fruit compote personally. Exactly, you could deliver my 2,800 birch logs personally. We can go out and catch fireflies. That would be so lovely. You know, it's, my last performance review wasn't that crash hot and I was thinking about a move, to be honest. I, I have a confession to make. That would be me. I, when, when you suggested that maybe I could uh, get uh, polyester ropes rather than all natural fibres, I called your management. Oh, Tony, I was... Oh, look, I'm, I'm glad that you've learned the lesson. I'm glad that you knew you were out of line. Just come to the forest. Yeah, so my my a family a family pet had run away that day, and it was you know. Don't need them. Don't need them. There's you know where there's lots of pets in the forest. Well, main main dream. I feel like I know you. It's only been three orders, but. I know. I feel like we're friends. All right. I'll see you in the forest. I'll be the one wearing the toadstool onesie. I'll be the one wearing the goat skull. 
Bye, Tiff. Wonderful. See ya. And that's our show. Thank you so much uh, to our wonderful improvisers. Come back, everyone, so we can we can say farewell to you and brilliant job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> never thought we would get from uh, crushing a cat under a tractor to cottage core. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sorry. on the pulse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that I introduced that I uh, I am looking after a, a real small cat and then somehow killed oh yeah the cat in the I, subconscious it was, it like <laughs> improv <laughs> inception someone needs to take that cat away from you no Wesley's fine he's fine I'm telling Isabel I'll swap you for a fake baby <laughs> that was really weird Steve that little baby yeah that <laughs> freaked me out. I know you have a toddler, so I'm not as freaked out as I could be. I would definitely blame it on her. (laughs) Well, great job to our LaRondas. Let's hear it one more time for Anna Resenbrick, Juliet Ray Timmerman, Liam McMahon, Steve Lynch, and special thanks to guests Jim Fishwick and Amy Moore. Uh, well, now it comes to the second half of our show. So uh, I am going to be welcoming to the stream uh, a wonderful Improv Theatre Sydney house team. Uh, they are known as 1% of Germs, uh, and they are really quite brilliant. They're cl- coached by the brilliant uh, Claire Kavanagh, uh, and they've been doing uh, uh, our show, It's Big House, uh, which we was a show we used to do. Uh, come on in, folks. If you're if you're all uh, there, I can uh, see you. There's one. There's Alex. Hello. 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 So, uh, viewers who are watching this, um, we need another suggestion from you. Uh, we need a suggestion uh, first of all of a workplace any kind of business, somewhere people would work, uh, as well as something that should be an email. So uh, this format that 1% of germs are going to be performing for you is called should have been an email. Uh, So we need something that uh, is maybe an email subject you got on a work email recently, uh, some kind of banal uh, memo or something like that. Uh, from mm-hmm. uh, from your work or from your yeah. personal email, something that should be an email and should not be a workplace meeting because we are going to turn it into that for you tonight. Uh, so keep those suggestions coming in the YouTube chat, folks. Uh, Germs, how are you all doing? Hey, yeah, That's really good. good. It was a great show, great first half. Mm. Yeah, wasn't it great? The goat skull really, really <laughs> affected me. It was just too funny. <laughs> I'm still haunted by that baby that Steve, uh, Steve <laughs> produced. Yep. Um, just... <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you all been a, a house team? You've been a house team for maybe, what, uh, six, eight months, something like that? Six? Yeah, sure. less? More, right. yeah. more than six months. That's a bit more than six months. Been, well, we weren't performing for the past several months, you know, so it's like, feels like there's been a break, you know? Very true. <laughs> that bond's always there, though. A house true. team, God, one of the most Can't unbreakable bonds. It's like show. we're the same person, really. Well, yeah, yeah. We often uh, talk at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever one of us starts a sentence, the other one just finishes it. Wow, that's improv. That's awesome. <laughs> Our minds are melded. Mm-hmm. Our hearts are melded. <laughs> oh, true. Oh. Anyway. So beautiful. <laughs> um, well, we've got some suggestions here for your uh, improv uh, for the meeting that you're going to be improvising uh, <laughs> for us. <laughs> Um, would you like me to give you some and you can choose? Or do you want me to just choose for you? Please. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Go for it. Dealer's choice. Okay, great. 
Um, so the business, uh, you you all work at Coles. Okay. okay. Great. Um, thank you for that suggestion from Shane Porter and Kate Coates, both suggested. <laughs> oh, <Coles. laughs> well, one All mind, one mind. <laughs> uh, and this meeting uh, is going to be based on the work email subject. Happy birthday, Anna. Happy birthday, Anna. Okay. And so without any further ado, uh, we begin our workplace meeting. All righty, 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 guys. Uh, thank you for coming to this little, little, we'll keep it brief. Your time's important. I don't want to ruin all you guys' days. Um, we do have a new team member in the Coles family. I wanted to introduce you. There's also a bit of a celebration for Anna. I won't spoil it, but we'll talk about that later. But really, I wanted just to like make everyone feel like the Coles family getting together. Uh, can you just quickly just introduce yourself so the new person feels at home? Hi guys, I'm um, I'm Anna, and um, I um, I do customer service. And, um, oh God, I am not going to lie to you. I've got a bit of headache, a bit of a queasy tummy and, um, maybe it's food poisoning. Maybe it's food poisoning. I think I need some Panadol. Mm -hmm. Again, on a Monday. So, so. Mm, yes. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. I'm Serena Tay. I'm the chief wellness officer at Coles. I just want to make sure that, you know, everyone's their best selves you know one of my mottos is you can do it put your back into it just like the prophet muhammad said uh sure and of course the, the new fella mr hunt ah uh, yes um hello everyone uh i am Rex Hunt, the Chief Legal Counsel for Coles. And I know what you're thinking, ah, oh, lawyer, man, get away from me. But no, I'm fine, I'm cool. Um, you know, I was brought in, there are a few, I know you guys have had a few snafus in the past, so I'm just a bit of a, you know, here to make sure everything's legal above board, uh, you know, with, uh, with Anna's upcoming birthday. Hey. Expecting big things, Anna, big things. I'm excited for my birthday and I have been celebrating for two weeks already, but um, I want to know what you guys want to do because I'm open. I, I like to have fun. Uh, yeah, oh, I look, like to have fun to too. The, I just want to quote the Buddha, you know, um, you got to lose yourself in the music. You know, you better own it. You should never let it go. You only totally. get one chance, you know, because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yes, Anna, just make the most of it, you know? Interesting, uh, interesting, put a, put a, put a phrase. Um, I totally do fun, totally back fun, love it. I just think, uh, you know, when we say the word fun, <sighs> what does that mean? You know, let's, uh, let's explore that. And I really think, you know, we can have fun without things like workplace alcohol, uh, sexual harassment incidents, um, and I guess just, you know, ne'er-do-well type activity, you know? And Sorry, fun. sorry, hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can have fun without alcohol? Absolutely. My, my 50th birthday party was completely sober. We got a cake in the shape of a big monster truck because, you know, I'm actually a pretty big monster truck guy. Uh, and we just, we ate one of the whole wheels. Uh, and uh, my, my, my husband, Gary, was actually, uh, he always passed out from too much sugar. You know what I mean? And perfectly legal fun. Anna, I just want to say to you, you, you do what you want to do because really, to quote Maya Angelou, who run the world? Girls. And you the law. The, world, <laughs> the law runs the world. The law. And uh, I feel like you're maybe a little bit lost. You're in a transition phase. You know, you're trying to find who you are. Um, Serena, Tay, man, you got some, you got some good wisdom. Do you, would you mind just giving a little yes. bit of wisdom over? I think um, so. Rex, I might might have a word with you in private. Sure. For sure. For sure. So, 
Anna. Anna, oh. my love. Yes. Um, Serena, I'm going to level with you. I'm so fucking hungover. I vomited in the bin next to me and it smells so bad, man. I don't know what to do. All right, look, we're alone and I'm going to level with you. You need to cut the crap, all right? Oh, Women yeah, all right. can't just be rolling into the office place and yeah. just create a run in a muck, you know? I mean, yeah. w- what's going on? The bottom dollar, dollar make me holler. That's that's what it's all about. And I mean, you just gotta you gotta work your way up to the top. What is going on? You gotta make them bow down. This is just uh, listen, we've had one chat about this, and I think it's time. It's time that you take this seriously, love. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Serena. I just I was just thinking about like how like passionate you are about being like a bad bitch and like like I'm there. I'm just like I just like I just love to party, you know? And like I think Okay, that's- look enough of that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? When we go back to this meeting, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out ideas and I'm gonna Excellent. I'm gonna or to be perfectly honest, I'm probably gonna vomit a couple more times. But no, 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 I'll hold it in. I'll yes, that's right. I have to. That's right. You throw up in your mouth and then you say to them, you could have had a bad bitch. That's what you say to them. Yes. That you preach. You non preach like Oprah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I that, I'll, 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 I'll say to Rex, I'll say, yo, I'm a bad bitch. Fuck you. We're going to drink at my party because... You can't have fun without booze, you know? Like, should I just say like that or do you think? No, bring it back to the dollar. Bring it back to the, yes, more money, more problems. We we need more money. More money, more problems. So the more money I have, the more problems I have? No, listen. No. no, You just just don't understand the philosophies of the philosophers, the great Eastern philosophers. You just don't understand, you know? Teach me, babe. Teach me. I'm trying for the love of God. I'm trying. Just look, let's go back and be professional. All right. Bring it back to the bottom dollar. That's what it's all about. All right. Money. Gotcha. I'm, 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 I'm square. I've got it. Rex, I'm not fucking around. All right. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey. Hey. The gang. What's up? Yeah. So How you going? I'm... Uh, we had a, a peaceful discussion. It was wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, look, Anna's just having having a deep release, you know. We just, she woke up like this. Uh-huh. And uh, she just, she needs to check herself before she wrecks herself. You know, as my husband Gandhi once said, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Anna, Anna, she was, just, she has some br- brilliant ideas, brilliant ideas to improve our bottom line. Anna, sh- share your philosophies. Share your thoughts, love. Share your thoughts, my dear. So um, at Coles, um, the prices are really low, right? And down. They're, they're down. down. Fuck. The prices Bow are down. down. Bow down. Bow down. Prices are down. Yeah. God, I can't keep up with the lingo, honestly. Um, but the prices are low, but you need more money to have more problems, so we'll raise all of the prices. Okay, Anna, that was, that was awesome. That made so much sense. I loved it. That was so cool. How about you two uh, take a chill for a second uh, and, you know, discuss more birthday party ideas. I might grab a quick breakout with Jerry real quick just to chat some more uh, ideas. Just friendly chat. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna go to the lovely. Bathroom. Wonderful. Make sure you listen. Jerry, you fucking kidding me. Are you fucking kidding me? Do not you know ruin this for us. Jerry? You know why I was brought into this job? You got brought in to make sure I do what I'm told. Yes, Jerry, to make sure you do what you're fucking told, okay? You have been fucking up royally, okay? Uh, they brought, I'm, I'm a fucking bulldog, man. They brought me in as, I was used to be chief legal counsel for Woolworths, okay? Do you understand that? <sighs> don't, okay? don't, don't you say the W word in front of me. Oh, okay, fine. Look, Jerry, the fact of the matter is your parties and your ridiculous cold employee events have been breaking every single goddamn law in the world. Tell me about what happened at at, at your birthday party last year. It was a rainy day. Moods were down, down, and staying down. 
I decided to, you know, lighten the mood, create a, a scan a thon where everyone gets to scan presents and give them to me. And you know what? It was pretty damn good. And you know what? I'm pretty good at scanning. I'm not going to lie, Rex. And I know you got brought in here by the board of directors. And I know you still talk to Woolworths. But I, I don't. Okay. I resent that accusation. And let's just backtrack oh. for a second. You didn't just make a, a fun scan for everybody, okay? That was a giant scanning laser that ended up boiling the aquarium and killing all the exotic fish, okay? That broke a lot of laws, okay? You ever heard of the Aquarium <laughs> Securities Act of 1999? You're not allowed to do that to aquariums, Jerry. Okay. Uh, all right, Rex. All right, Rex. I'm, I'm the CEO. I got this. You know, what's this really about, huh? Why are you giving me all this grief, huh? You don't remember me, do you? You don't remember me. I, ha I had to look you up. You used to be Rex Hunt. We made some unfortunate names at high school. Mm -hmm. I don't like feel what, proud Dave? about it. Like what? What did you? What did you and your your cronies, your lacrosse cronies, call me? Rex Bunt, the stoner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rex Punt, the gambler. Mm -hmm. Rex Munt, when he drank so much. It fucking hurt me, okay? It maybe hurt right. me more than when you, you and your lacrosse cronies whipped me with your lacrosse nets, okay? And guess what? Now I'm here to fuck your shit up, okay? You're fucking toast. And I'm going to make the whole world know it. You're always such a goody two-shoes, even in high school. Okay, great. Well, look, I think we should go back to the meeting and uh, maybe I'll tell the rest of the team. Uh... No. I don't know, Jerry. I, just, I, I know a couple of things about you that you did in high school, but uh, maybe you would be pretty unsavorable for a CEO of Coles to do. <sighs> Rex, let's just rise above it. All right, don't be... I'm not going to say it, but, you know, don't be it. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's, let's go back to this meeting, huh, bud? All right. Hey, hey guys. To swear all at right, the customer. All right. what, have, uh, what have you guys been talking about? Serena, you're on bloody mute, love, but she's been telling me that I, I'm meant to, like, be polite. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can I you hear it. me? Can you hear me now, everybody? Yeah, we can all hear you. It, yeah. Is my voice, is my presence being felt in your homes where you're working from? Yes. Yes, we were discussing powerful, powerful strategies that come from women, you know, that come from women. We are all bad bitches. We make the difference. We make the difference. We run the world. That's what we were discussing, gentlemen. Mm. Okay, um, so I think, Jerry, you're about to say something about uh, how uh, Anna's party has to be a bit, uh, bit more tame than, uh, than she was planning. Was I, Rex? Was I? Uh -huh. That's right, I was. Um, I was just saying that, you know, we've all had some big parties. Some say too big. Um, not I. I say we can go bigger and better this year. Yeah, fuck it, Jerry. You lose, can't Jerry. All right, um, all right, all right. Yeah. Love some whiskeys, don't you, Jezza? <laughs> oh God, he's a good. You can, you can, you can find, you can find. Oh uh, God, the laser. Uh. Oh my God. Um, at this, this moment, man loves to dance on a table. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. At this moment, oh. um. I'd just like to consult our legal counsel just just momentarily. We'll be 20 Please. seconds if you could just give us one minute, okay? Yep. Just one minute. We'll be back. Yeah. <sighs> Rex, I can't. I can't take it anymore. I can't. I can't. I miss you. I miss you. I can't believe you left me. I think bad bitches are a gift from God and I just... He left me. I can't. I can't be with a bad bitch okay more than anything i love the law i love sticking to the rules you're a bad bad bitch <laughs> you 
been leaving my tax on read. I oh. mean, I just, I gave you everything. I gave you my life. I gave you my whole essence, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm a powerful woman. I, I lead, I lead armies of women all out the cold, the cold empire. And you just, you could have been the king. But you know what? Now you watch the queen conquer. All right, let's go back to the meeting. Right, fine. Hey. Oh yeah. Just um, creating alignment, alignment. You know, just strategizing uh, between so, wellness. And yeah, real. totally. Are you and all I think, right? uh, look, I think. Um, Anna, could I, uh, <laughs> could I grab you for a second? I just uh, have something to tell you about uh, something Jerry was saying earlier. Okay, keep it cool, Rex. <laughs> Anna, you got my back. Rex, yeah. What are you, babe? What? Anna. Uh, so uh what? I I know you're you're one of the star employees, you're you're a great yeah, great worker, great customer service. But uh yeah, I am. what of it? I'm uh I'm gonna need you to uh tell me make a play against Jerry. <laughs> Absolutely not. What? Rex Hunt. Jesus. Okay. Even know what this guy so does. Square? I can't even I can't even. No alcohol at parties? <laughs> Did you make Serena cry? No, I didn't make Serena cry. Okay, I barely know Serena. Who is she? What does she do? Like, what is like she quotes like Eminem and says his Gandhi? I don't even know who she is. No. Um, she's a bad bitch of Coles. Please, please, <laughs> as if you didn't fucking know that. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna get help from you, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna go back in this meeting and I'm gonna tell Jerry what for, okay? Because Jerry is not who he cracks up to be, okay? He's a liar. I like liars. Tell you what, I don't like Rex Hunt. Oh, fuck you. Okay, let's oh, go back to the meeting. You want to go? I swear to God, I'll take you in the fucking car park. Honestly, okay. I'm sick of this shit, man. You fucking the fun police or something. Yeah, God, you just, you just really grinding my gears. And look, I might be still drunk from last night. So I'll probably regret this in a couple of hours. You're drunk at work. You can kiss my fucking ass, Rex. You can kiss my ass. Look. This is untenable. Jerry, I guess everybody here hates me, okay? Let's not make it a secret, okay? But no, I can't, I, I can't hold it anymore. I love you, Rex, and everyone needs to know about it. Everyone needs to know about it. Jerry! Yuck! Serena! Yuck! Oh. Serena, you can do way better than Jerry. Oh, Rex. <laughs> no, look, you guys don't understand. Jerry is a liar. He's a criminal. Him and his lacrosse cronies have had vendettas against the aquarium since day one. They've been fishing out fish with their lacrosse poles and throwing them in the, in the fire. This guy, he's a criminal mastermind, okay? You don't want to work with this guy. Whoa, whoa, Jerry, did you play lacrosse? Yeah, pretty big time. That's, that's not uh -huh. bad bitch behavior. What the fuck? Uh -huh. Lacrosse? Wait, what is hold it? on a second. Did you go to private school? Yeah. Anna, Anna, you're my homie. Anna. Yes, yes, yes. he's a private school fuckboy. Yeah, yeah. We so went to school together, Rex. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, I was... Where's all of you? Jesus Christ. All right, well, the birthday is going to be on the 18th. Um, it's going to be lit, Anna. Private I school... Think... I don't think I want any of you to come, Serena. Of course, she is absolutely invited. But uh, look, it's only bad bitches at my party. I've decided, so you guys can go fuck yourself. Not you, Serena. I love you. You, you're a really great person, and, and you should be treated with more respect. Yeah. Yes, you need more respect. Yeah, that's right. And to quote my favorite quote from The Art of War is, "You knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. Get up ten. All right." Uh, oh, oh Hannah. okay i'm gonna go back to woolworths okay this is fucked oh uh, yeah i knew you were a woolworth boy Jerry, no. Rex, and me. that's our show everybody <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> rex hunt <laughs> the og rex hunt <laughs> here with me tonight <laughs> He's got me out of the whale's belly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Well done.
to one percent of germs what a brilliant uh work meeting uh i'm so glad it all fell apart and uh, <laughs> back to Woolworths. <laughs> Um, thanks so much, gang. That was your first time performing that format. And I just think it is so, so great. Uh, and hopefully we'll have you on the show very soon again to, to do something, uh, the same or similar, uh, <laughs> because it was so much yeah. fun to, to watch that. Um, thanks for having us. It was thank, yeah, you. thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you out there to all of our viewers. Uh, thank you so much thanks, for tuning everyone. in to the It's Chat Laurent. Um, we are doing this every Friday, so uh, tune in uh, on the ITS YouTube channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, smack that like button. Uh, <laughs> all of our shows are saved uh, in our um, videos on the ITS YouTube channel, so feel free to go back, watch some previous episodes of It's Chat, Lauren. They're all there. Uh, and if you want to see some live improv, if you're in Sydney, uh, we Ooh. have the uh, It's the News show coming up this Wednesday, 30th of September yeah. at the Giant Dwarf Theatre um, in Redfern. So come along or you can buy tickets to live stream that from your very own home as well. Uh, professionally shot. It's all schmicko and it's a really fun <laughs> show. There's also, um, uh, there'll be classes going on sale in the next few weeks for our next um online uh class season so wherever you are in the world if you want to do some improv classes uh they'll start around probably i think late october november uh keep an eye on the improv theater sydney uh social media pages and website for those um and that's about it anyone have anything to plug coming up no <laughs> uh. <laughs> not a whole lot no, no, not a whole lot. I'd love to <laughs> plug um, uh, Rex Hunt's Fishing Adventures, a yes. brilliant show from the 90s uh, at a brilliant legal counsel as well. Um, <laughs> that about does it for us tonight. So thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in and watching It's Chat Laurent. Have a wonderful night. Night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.